All right, here we are at our 1997 Carver 260 Special Edition mid-cabin cruiser for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This one is in the water. Now, I, I do need to point out that this slip is not transferable. Contact us through the website for more information on marinas in our area that do have available slip space. But there is a tandem axle Eagle trailer that is included with the sale of this one. That is a uh, the 97, basically a tandem axle matching Eagle trailer. It's a white steel painted trailer with dual brakes. It's got new tires on it and it is included with the boat. So this one is a uh, very much a trailerable cabin cruiser. This is about 26 on the LOA, which is your length overall. It's got eight and a half foot beam. It's rated at 6,100 pounds dry. That means with no fuel or gear or water or anything in it. If it's completely, everything's empty. Then at 6,100 pounds, it's rated for eight people. And we're gonna start this one a little bit differently today. I've got the engine hatches raised. I'm gonna show you in the engine room first, and then I'm gonna try to quickly piece that back together and we'll carry on with the rest of the video tour. This is powered by a 5.7 liter LX. It's a Thunderbolt 5 ignition, which is a Mercruiser V8 engine. This is um, equipped with the Bravo 3 dual propped out drive. Try to get you the full 360 here in our engine room. Over here on the starboard side, we've got a dual source six gallon hot water heater. We've got 20, uh, about a 20 gallon freshwater tank and a 20 gallon waste holding tank. Waste holding tanks over here on this side, on the port side. And that was your freshwater tank over here. You've got dual batteries, those are newer. You've got a, uh, a guest battery switch just above your engine room. And then also in that shot there, we've got two cockpit speakers right here looking right at you as well, just above this engine hatch. Onboard water pumps down here. We've got a guest 10 amp battery charger mounted here on this wall as well. And of course you've got automatic bilge down just in the center of that uh, engine compartment as well. But again, that's a 5.7 liter Mercruiser V8 with a Bravo 3 outdrive. There is no hour meter on this. It's anyone's guess as to how many hours there are. Now I'm gonna set the camera just down for just a second. I'm gonna put these hatches back in place. Now would be a good time to mention that uh, our website is where you're going to find the most information about this one as well as any of our listings. That's at www.yournewboat.com. We don't mention the asking prices in the video tours because those will often change until the listing is sold. But if you do take the time to type into your address bar www.yournewboat.com I promise you, you'll, you'll find a very easy to navigate website. You'll see some orange lettering. That's how you know you're at the right place. Click the find your new boat button. It'll be in the top left hand corner of the page. And that will load all of our inventory in order of price. And all you gotta do is scroll right down until you get to the 1997 Carver 260 SE or 260 Special Edition. Asking price will be listed right there. You'll be able to click into the listing and see a video slideshow and there will also be a link for this video tour but in case you found this over at YouTube the asking price would be at our website and the website's where you're going to find all of our contact info you can contact us by phone by text or by email if you ever uh, call us on the phone and get our voicemail we'd like a return phone call just make sure you leave a detailed message let me know which listing you're looking at what questions you have uh, we're often in errors out cell phone reception, so if you do that as soon as I get back in cell phone range, I'll return your call, have all your questions answered for you. All right, so carrying on with our walk around video tour here, I put that removable lounge table back in place here in the uh, here in the cockpit, just just above that engine room, and you've got forward and rear facing dinette seats right there. You've got some storage. You got a little walk through transom gate right there. You've got storage on the port side of this one. And then also should point out, we've got a Bimini top overhead. This one comes with a um, cockpit cover as well as the Isinglass camper in canvas enclosure. Uh, it's included as well. That's in very good condition. It's been used very little, at least by the current owner. This one, um, I did say this one's rated for eight. And here's a good look at your driver's station. 
you've got a couple cup holders near your driver's seat. This has hydraulic trim tabs, and those are your trim tab controls right there. You've got uh, engine drive trim, engine oil pressure, battery voltmeter, tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, engine water temperature, and depth finder, as well as a 12 volt power outlet, all right here at your helm. Richie compass just forward of your helm station. And this little light right here that you're looking at right now, that's for you know reading a, a map or anything like that if, if, if it was at night. Um, of course, that's on one of these switches here. So, 12 volt power outlet here and here. You got two of those right here. I guess that would be more of a cigarette lighter. And this is a 12 volt lighter. VHF radio right here. And a handheld remote spotlight. Um, that's a 12 volt plug in spotlight just right below your helm station as well. That's basically where you would store it. So we've got a step right here that will take you up through a walk-through windshield up towards your bow where your manual anchor is, is mounted. And I'm going to continue on down to the cabin of this one. We do have a, um, a door that would close right here. Show you how that would work just like that. And I should point out there are some stress cracks around this cabin door. I'll, I'll uh, show you a little bit more of that later on. But there is some wear and tear that we've noticed. Stepping down into the cabin, I like right here, right before you really enter, and you can reach us easily from the cockpit, is your power panel. You've got uh, your AC power panel right here, conveniently located right next to your Kenwood stereo. That's an AM, FM, CD stereo. You've got two cabin speakers and four cockpit speakers so six total speakers on the boat now we just function tested those i believe all but one of the two cabin speakers uh did not work everything else worked fine so moving along we've got a conveniently located little galley the sink little built-in microwave we've got a smooth top princess electric range stove top burner and then a 12 volt nor cold refrigerator just below that Some storage underneath your, uh, your sink area and above as well. Now I've got the dinette, this is a convertible dinette and I've got the, uh, the table lowered and the filler cushions in place. If you'll take the time to click over to the website where I've got a photo slideshow of it, I'll have some photographs of the dinette table in the raised position as in being used as a table. Right here it's basically has been converted to a bed or a berth is what you'll hear people call on a boat. You've got a little hatch right here. I've got it popped open and uh, there's a screen in place and that can close. We've got 12 volt lighting throughout the cabin. We've got a 12 volt fan right there and then that's a 110 power fan. Some storage underneath your seats. And then underneath this seat cushion is your 5,000 BTU capacity cruise air, marine air conditioning unit. That is basically a geothermal unit that's gonna pull lake water, cycle it through, and make cold air for the cabin. You've got a couple vents right here is gonna be where one of those is gonna blow out. And that will distribute the cold air down into the cabin. You've also got some, uh, some cabin windows with screens as well. On either side, you got those two, and then your bow hatch. And then this, kind of right here in the middle, of your cabin is your is your head compartment. That's a Japsco manual head. Again, about a 20 gallon waste holding tank on this one. You've got a small little sink down here as well. And then of course that sink will pull out to be uh, double use as a shower. There's gonna be a drain in the floor. And we've even got a little, um, got a little window right inside of your head compartment for ventilation as well. And of course there's kind of a little shower curtain that will um, that you can use for privacy whenever you're whenever you're in there as well. So now this is what's called the mid cabin, and this is your your extra set of sleeping space. So you've got the convertible dinette and the mid cabin for sleeping berths on this one. So you could sleep four on here. Twelve volt light back here as well, as well as another little um, cabin hatch with a screen. Try to get you the full 360 degree tour. And then backing back out of there. 
this dinette um, bench really goes a long way and this was hard to show in the photos but it starts right there near your mid cabin entrance goes all the way up and wraps around the bar or wraps around I guess to the galley area try to show that as accurately as possible again don't forget this is a trailer bull cabin cruiser with a tandem axle eagle trailer dual brakes um, I'll have some photos of the trailer at the website as well with this listing if, again if you take the time to click over there um, we'll have a full slideshow photographs showing the exterior interior um, I pushed this one out the slip got a few shots of it in the water new bottom paint on this one as well in 2009 and then here's those steps where you can walk through your little window here go around your bow hatch and here's your manual anchor up here and you've got navigation lights up here as well this one's really in good shape but the only thing uh, about the only wear i've noticed on this is some stress cracks around the cabin area and i'm going to do my best to show you those now there's a little bit of uh wear in your decaling but the decal is nothing to get concerned with it's all vinyl decals um these stress cracks really um are common on about this age boat especially this size they're not a huge structural concern as long as you have these checked out by a marine surveyor we recommend any sam's marine surveyor sam stands for society of accredited marine surveyor they're basically going to put a moisture meter on these stress cracks and make sure they're not collecting any moisture if they stay dry then you're then you're really good and you're basically only talking about a cosmetic issue as long as they don't start um, allowing moisture to come through. So here on your integrated swim platform, you've got a ski tow bar right there, um, just below that stern line. You've got a swim boarding ladder right through here. And then this is a little pull out transom shower. This is just on a clip here. There you go, that slides out, just like so. Again, um, you might be able to tell from the lighting, that's a Bravo 3 dual prop out drop and again fresh bottom paint on this one i'm going to try to show you the exterior nice basically mostly white hull side with some black accent stripes a little bit of a gold trim with it and i've noticed very little wear and tear in the fiberglass Um, another small little stress crack right here just above your rub rail and then about the only other wear I've noticed is on this decaling just where that that vinyl decaling is wearing just a little bit and same thing down there just above your bottom paint line getting really clean and that right there is just a bug don't get overly concerned with that but now just below it there's a little bit of a of a mark in the hull that probably won't come out with it with the buff um, it may it may not just a small little mark I don't even know if it's okay I think it's showing up just a little bit in the lighting right there if the light hits it just right you'll notice it that's probably about it so getting us the 97 Carver 260 special edition comes with the matching tandem axle Eagle trailer And same thing on this side. We got one little mark right in there. If the light hits it just right, you might notice it. Actually, that one, my fingernail is not even catching. So that one right there should buff right out. Um, these might just be some bumper marks. Sometimes a bumper will rub a little bit of a, like a rubber onto your gel coat. Fuel fill right here. This one, again, this one does have a waste holding tank as well as a fresh water tank. And same thing with your decaling up here towards the, um, the bow of the boat. Another small little stress crack right there, but again, you'll want to uh, have a marine surveyor check those out for you. This one's basically been stored indoors or kept under a covered slips. So I really don't think a surveyor is going to find any structural issues with those or any moisture intrusion in them, but it's always something you want to take the time to have checked out before purchasing we do our best to make the uh, all of our listings available uh, for buyer inspection 
and we can coordinate and make it available with either your brand surveyor or your mechanic or we can refer you to options in the area if you're from outside of the area that's going to start to wrap things up here i think i've uh, mentioned all the options with this one again you do have the cockpit cover the bimini top as well as the camper canvas enclosure um, and the tandem axle eagle trailer Again, the current asking price will be at our website, www.yournewboat.com. We won't mention those just because the price will sometimes change until a boat is sold. And this one is ready for purchase. I have had some new batteries installed this year, uh, recent uh, new retires on the trailer. Um, this one's been, been exercised some this season, and the seller is selling it to replace it with something a little bit newer slightly bigger and a lot of life left in this one and we'll be happy to show it to you or reach out to me again through our website via text email or phone be happy to answer any questions on this one again make it available for you or for for a third party to have it inspected on your behalf and about this time you'll see the your new boat.com logo pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen and that is to be Subscribe to our YouTube channel. So if you like what you see and want to see more of them in the Norris Lake area Feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel any new listings that we get in our area You'll be one of the first to be notified about it. Thank you again for joining us